have any agency. Can I help you? Yes, good morning. I got a phone call uh, saying to call you. Okay. Okay, can I have your name, too? Yes, yeah, so your first name is Justin. That's J U S. Sorry? S. My first name is Justin. Justin. Okay. That's correct. My last name is and Trudeau. Your last name? Trudeau. T R U. Hello? That's T R U D E A U. Justin Trudeau. T R U E E. No, D is in dog, E is in echo, mm -hmm. A is in alpha, U yes. is in um, uh. D E. Can you repeat again one more time, please? Okay, my last name, T mm -hmm. is in tango, R is in Romeo, mm -hmm. E is in umbrella, mm -hmm. D is in dog, mm -hmm. E is in elephant, mm -hmm. A is mm -hmm. in alpha, U is in mm -hmm. umbrella. Mm-hmm. Do you have that? Sorry? Can you read back my name? Do you have it correct? Yes. Okay, let me check who called you and what was the reason. Hold on, please. Okay, Mr. Justin? Yes, okay. We oui, oui. Hold on. Hold on, please. Merci. Thank you so much for holding the line, Mr. Justin. Okay, thank you. Okay, Mr. Justin, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Officer George Thompson, ID number 7865478. Can you slow down just for a moment? Can you slow down? I can't write okay. that fast. George Thompson, okay. Okay, yes. ID number seven eight six five four seven eight. Okay, thank you. Okay. So I'm working in criminal investigation department of Canada Revenue Agency. How are you today? Uh I was okay until I got your phone call and now I'm nervous. Okay. Okay, so we called you because Canada Revenue Agency is filing law is fi Hello is filing Hello? lawsuit against your name and we need your lawyer information. So do you have any criminal lawyer for this case or not? Uh no I don't. Okay. So it seems like you don't know anything about this case, so do you want me to go ahead? and give you the information about this case. Yes, I would like to know each and everything. Okay, first of all, can I have your social insurance number, please, for you to grave your documentation? Uh, yes, it's... Uh... That's correct. Okay, let me check. Hold on, please. Okay, thank you. Hello? You there? Be on the line, so let me check, please. Okay? Okay.
Yes. Thank you so much for holding the line. Hello. Hello, yes. Hello. Okay. So let me introduce. Hello. I have oh, your I'm... case paper. Okay, I have your case paper in front of me. I will go ahead and read it for you. Okay. I will appreciate That's if you do not. I will appreciate if you do not interrupt me while I am reading. You can ask me the questions once I am done. Is that okay? We oui. yes. Okay, here we go. Canada Revenue Agency is filing three criminal charges against your name, and the charges are count number first violation of C R A. Means Canada Revenue Agency rules and regulation. Count number two miscalculation in income tax. Count number three stealing of taxes from the Canadian government. As a part of general audit, we have recalculated your tax for last five years. From 2013 to 2017, and we found out that your taxes are not being filed properly. There are some mistakes. For that reason, we have recalculated your tax penalties and interest based on the base of the wages. As a result of that, we found O. Four thousand eight hundred thirty-six dollar and twenty-nine cents to the government. But if this case will goes into the courthouse, the same amount of cost to twenty-five thousand dollar, including documentation charges, attorney fee, and penalties. And today is the deadline of your case. After one hour from now, this case is going to the courthouse. As soon as this case will get downloaded in the court, first of all, there will be an arrest warrant issue. On your name, within a couple of hours, the RCMP will come at your home with all the documentation to show you the documents and to get you arrested. First of all, all of your properties will get seized like your bank account, debit card, credit card, driving license each and everything which under your name will be get seized suspended or will be no longer in use for at least 5 years now i am if you have any questions please ask me now to justine well how do i rectify this you know there must be a way to yes. make the resolution mm -hmm. okay Mr. Justin, hello. Hello, yes. Yes, Mr. Justin, if you have any, how do you file your taxes every year? Have an accountant by yourself, by an agency? I use uh, the net file on the Canada Revenue Agency's website. In fact, I just got my mm -hmm. refund check yesterday. Okay. Okay. So, first of all, how do you file your taxes every year? Have an accountant by yourself, by an agency. I go to the Canada Revenue Agency's website and I do the mm -hmm. tax filing online. Okay. And I got my refund check yesterday, so I'm confused. Okay. Okay. Mr. Justine. Just hold on, please. Be on the line. Let me check. Hold on, please. Okay. okay? Thank you.
Hello? Thank you so much for holding the line, Mr. Justin. No problem. Okay. Mr. Justin, as per the documentation, I can see that this is not the first time. We are trying to contact you regarding this. We already made two attempts in the past in order to reach you about this. First attempt was on 16 January 2019. And second attempt was on 25th January 2019. One of your investigation officer personally went to your home with all the documentation to serve you the documents. But when he went to your home, he found there was no available at your home. And in order to hand over the documents, we need your signature. Without your ID, without your signature, we cannot hand over the documents. For that reason, the documents return back to the CRA office. But still. We did try to contact you by calling you from the 1-800 number, but when we are calling you from the 1-800 number, we are not authorized to leave any voice message because of the government restriction. Uh, okay, I'm 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 a little bit confused. I moved recently. Uh, what address did mm-hmm. they go to? Maybe they went to my old address. Okay, Mr. Justin. Uh, but we are a recorded line not allowed in your personal information yes but i i moved to recency so you went to my old address you didn't go to my new address okay yes can i have your new address please yes it's the number 111 just hold on please name. okay yes okay merci number number 11 One one one. That's three ones. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, three one. Yes, one one one. The street mm-hmm. name is Wellington. That's W E L L I N G T O N. Wellington Street. Street Wellington. Wellington. Yes. Okay. Ottawa just hold on hmm? Ottawa yep oh. my postal my postal code is k is in kilo 1 a is in alpha number 0 a is in alpha number 4 so you have that yes okay just hold on please okay, okay? thank you merci beaucoup Thank you so much for holding the line, Mr. Justin. No problem. Hello. Yes, please, Bojer. Mr. Justin, just okay. Be on the line. I will transfer your call to the senior officer. Okay. Hey, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. This is Senior Investigation Officer Kevin Thompson. Can I help you? What was the name again? Officer Kevin Thompson. Can I help you? Yes, I was just transferred by uh, George Thompson. You said you were the senior officer. I... Would like okay, to can resolve I have your name. Sir? Yes, my name is Hello? Justin. My name is Justin yep. Trudeau. Mhm. And uh Justin Trudeau. We. Oui. That's it. Okay. And your SIN number I have that That is correct. Yes. Okay. And you are from New 1111 Street. I'm sorry, 111 Street, Wellington, Ottawa, Ontario. 
but no, it's 111 Wellington Street. There's only one okay, street. Okay, so 111 Wellington Street, right? That's correct. Okay. No problem, sir. And your postal code is K1A0A4, correct? Oh, that's correct. Okay. Now, Mr. Justin, I have your case papers in front of me, which shows that we have an audit on your taxes from 2013 to 2017. And we found that the taxes which you have filed, it was not correct. It was not matching the taxes which we have on our file. And that's the reason we found that you owe to the government, which is in a total of $4,000. $836.29. Now, I believe that you were talking to Mr. Thompson that you are about to get a refund tomorrow, right? No, I got a refund yesterday. You got a refund okay. yesterday. Now, let me explain you about that refund. What happening is, every year, whatever taxes you are filing to the government... It has been accepted by the government without any cross-verification because every year, as like you, there are a lot of taxpayers who are filing their taxes to the government. It is not possible for the government to check each and every taxpayer's file to see whether all the taxpayers are doing their correct taxes or not. So whatever you file every year on the basis of that taxes, you get your refunds as well as your assessment estimatedly. Now, to make sure that every taxpayers are doing their correct taxes or not, what exactly we are doing is at the end of every five years, from the Criminal Investigation Department, we are making an audit on each and every taxpayer's file to see whether all the taxpayers are doing their correct taxes or not in the same process. This time, when we audited your taxes from 2013 to 2017, we found this total mistake of $4,836.29 on your tax papers. Now, yesterday, whatever tax, uh, tax refund you have got from the government, it was already decided before the investigation. That's the reason you got the refund yesterday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, as today is the due date of your case papers, after one hour from now, your case will be taken to the courthouse and you will get arrested for this. So now you tell me your line has been transferred to me, so in which way I can help you out? Well, it's. I would not want to resolve uh, this thing. I can go to uh, Kenzie Avenue to CRA headquarters and I can bring a check, I can bring cash. Uh, you tell me how I fix this. See, so, Mr. Justin, right now it seems to be like uh, you want to resolve this issue without taking this in a legal way, right? But let me well, be clear a, with you right now. You're, it costs a lot of right money. Right now, you're not the only. Sorry? It costs me, it'll cost me a lot of money to go to court. You know, it's easy uh, enough for me to pay $4,836.29. You know, I can pay that right now, okay. today. Understand. So, Mr. Justin, right now, to give you a chance, it's very tough for me because we are not the only one person. As like you, there are more than twenty to 25,000 taxpayers who are in the same situation like you and who are not getting a chance to resolve the issue. Now, can you give me at least one good reason why you think that you should get a chance? Well, it's, we are in Canada. We are innocent until proven guilty. You know, so you said earlier it was a mistake on my tax form. You know, so why don't you just believe it's a mistake and I'll make the, I'll correct it. I mean, it's straightforward enough. Okay. So you mean to say that whatever happened, it could be an honest mistake and that's the reason you deserve a chance? A absolutely. Oh. You, so Mr. Justin, right people, now... Yes? You don't arrest people Go and put ahead. them in jail. Or five thousand dollar debt. Okay. See, Mr. Justin, right now, as I told you, it's really tough for me to give you any chance. But still, before I come to any conclusion, I have some couple of questions for you. If you can answer me that questions, very honestly, I can see if there is any chance to give you or not. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. My very first, 
My very first question to you is, have you ever been arrested before? Never. Have you ever been terminated or fired from any job? Well, I was fired from a job uh, when I was in high school. I was working at McDonald's and uh, I got fired when I was 17. I'm 60 now. Right now, what do you work? Hmm? So right now, what do you do for your living? I work for the government of Canada. I'm a civil servant. You work. You work for the government of Canada. I'm a civil servant. Yes, I work in the passport office. You work in a passport office, right? Yes. It's Ottawa. Everyone works for the government okay. here. I got it, sir. So, Mr. Justin, right now, as I told you, it's really tough for me to give you any chance, but still, the way you have answered me. See, what, I, Vic, uh, what the best I can do for you is I cannot give you any flat chance to resolve, but I can give you some conditional exception. Under okay. the conditional exception, there will be four conditions which you have to follow. If you can follow all the four conditions, we can go ahead and resolve the issue. If you cannot follow the conditions, then I'm really very sorry. We have to take this in a legal way. So do you want me to give you the conditions? Absolutely. Okay. Before I give you the conditions, let me tell you that I'm not forcing you to follow any conditions or I'm not forcing you to resolve the case out of the court. You are the person who told me that you want to resolve the issue. That's the reason I'm giving you the conditions. So after giving the conditions, you will be the only responsible person. You have to think about it. If you want to resolve this issue, you can say yes. If you don't, you can simply let me know in a very simple answer, no. Okay? Yes. So the very first condition, after one hour from now, your case will be taken to the courthouse and you will get arrested for this. So in favor, if you want a chance to resolve this issue, you have to pay this amount in full within one hour and 30 minutes of time. Do you think you can pay this? Oh, absolutely. I can get to the CRA office in 10 minutes. Do one thing, sir. Wait for the officers coming to arrest you, okay? Thank you. That doesn't sound like a very fair resolution.